hello everybody this is 138 Veronica here and I'm back with another cartoon conspiracy now another conspiracy that we're doing today besides our last one is based around star versus the forces of evil and this hot topic is based around one of the more diverse of characters right now everybody hates him Glossrick and around the episode where star, baby where star gets evaluated and her um, teardown baby points out the star doesn't know any a basic magic. She has a closet full of secrets, and she's making her own spell book, which are apparently completely taboo, and no one has evidently told star that. So it made me think, well, what if this isn't entirely star's fault? Yes, we know she can be reckless with her magic, but she tries to do the right thing and to fix her problems. But it could be based on her upbringing, and more specifically, her training through Glossary and her mom. As, we, as we've seen in flashbacks, Star's parents, whether they want to admit it or not, have been kind of negligent with her um, raising. For one thing, having her bodyguards raise her and babysit her, and these are hardened criminals and thugs. Um, they haven't really shown anything to curb her behavior other than to shame her whenever she does anything, which isn't really the same as parenting. And they constantly call her to tell her to live up to their expectations, which puts a lot of pressure on Star. Now, it seems that whenever you learn magic, at least from Star's perspective, her training evidently started when she turned 14, which means that Glossary should have been training her on her 14th birthday from day one. Evidently, that did not happen. She either went gung-ho and went on with it, or he, as... Um, seen beforehand in the book where he lives, he didn't start appearing to her or giving the option to um, train with him until season two. He wouldn't even help Marco when he was trying to fix the problem in exchange giving him pudding and telling him, oh, you just have to wait for things to get better. Or he'll be a trickster mentor and not tell her a straight answer, claiming that the only person who really took his advice to heart besides Star was Queen Eclipsa which is not a very good comparison when supposedly, supposedly, Eclipsa may have gone, actually went rogue with another um, monster and may or may not have crumbled um, Muni. So what if, since Star doesn't know any basic spells, Gloucester never taught her, which is why she just goes gung-ho and she, like Alex from Wizardry Place, I remember that show with the family of wizards, she only is really good at make em up spells. Plus, if Glossary's living in the spell book, shouldn't it be a bit more tidy? Because in the second or third episode, Master Arm, Star even mentions that the spell book isn't even in a remotely orderly wet way. They just, the previous owners just scribble down spells in, as soon as they figure them out. So she doesn't really have a lot of guidance to figure out what she's doing. So basically the entire Mooney royal family, no matter what they think about it, they're not really good at guiding themselves, at least their descendants, thinking they'll just figure it out. But sometimes figuring it out is not the best way to do things. Now Glossaric, being the evil person that he is, he knows this and he's using it to his advantage, maybe to stage another uprising like Eclipses. Maybe he wasn't really... Um, not really, I can't say not really sure, but maybe he was just bored. Maybe he saw that the kingdom needed a shake-up from all the racism. Or maybe he just wanted to do this to help it break out Eclipsa. As we saw in um, Ramos' episode, she is en encased in crystal, which means she can be broken out. And he wants to rescue her with possibly through manipulating Toffee slash Ludo slash whatever they are right now. Loppy? Pluto, I, I don't know what to call him, but that's my theory. Essentially, the evaluation for Baby, she was evaluating Star, but they did, she and the Queen did not take into account Glossary's role in her not being very unprepared and being highly advanced but really having no way to um, practice that or to hone her talents. Instead, it's more them jumping her in a, on Earth a place with no magic and telling her essentially practice here and run wild. So that's my theory.
Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. And leave me a comment to let me know what you think of this theory. And bye. Now this is just an addition to my video as I recorded it previously. In Heinous, since I recorded it before I watched Heinous, um, the, the headmaster mentioned that all the princesses are running wild and rampant from Marco's um, advice. And it leads me to the question of why they're being sent to her school in the first place. They have no guidance. Just like Ludo said in um, tr Hard Training or whatever the episode's name is, that he just wanted some guidance in his life that he can actually do really well. The parents, being royal officials, haven't really put in a lot of thought to actually parenting their children, as I mentioned before, with Star's um, parents more or less shaming her for things that she does instead of actually teaching her. They all needed guidance in their lives, so when it comes too late, it comes as harsh measures and treatments. No wonder they rebelled. And their parents, instead of really wanting having anything to do with them or actual parenting, shipped them off to St. O's. Now, this is not excluding Princess Smooshy, the one who tried to steal Star's face, or Ponyhead threatening to stab people that she doesn't like. But it seems like a lot of things in the show are meant around guidance and watching your kids and what they're doing. Especially magical beings that have access to different creatures and magic where they could be eaten or Star Wars or something without you even looking and all you can do is pack him up and be someone else's problem.